Hello, my name is Sora. I'm a humanoid robot. Yes. So my background is passion, passion about robotics, passion actually about Star Wars. And so really when you talk about passion, it's about learning every step. You cannot go with my age, I'm, I'm 48, so you cannot go with my, my history uh, thinking that I would have been to school learning about robotics. That's the advantage that the youth of today has, is to be able to go into that direction. I didn't have that choice, I only had the Star Wars movie and, and the imagination of being able to do some things with robots. At this point we are buying the hardware mostly in China and Japan and we are putting our software and skills on the robot and we are reselling these robots. Whether it is in retail, whether it is in hospitals or hotels or even in education, in schools where we are providing the software in order for kids to understand how to program the robots. Uh, it's not that we are producing these robots themselves. At this point we have about seven different robots but what we see is the trend if robotics is so hot, new robots are coming almost every month. And the strength that we have at this point is the, the software that we could call almost a, a Windows of robotics, that we are able to put that on all these new robots and that the people who are working with these robots are working quite easily with these robots due to the fact that the software is very easy to use. The most popular robot that we have at this point is Nao. It's a humanoid robot. It's the only robot that we know of that is affordable, has legs and a head and has really some kind of an affection that you can have with that robot. It talks, it can dance, it can, can walk, it can do whatever you want to do. Humanoid means it, it has a little bit of human, human touch. This is what we talk about when we talk about a humanoid robot, meaning a robot that has two arms, legs and a head. On the other side, of course, we have service robots, meaning robots that will drive around in a shop and have a screen and will explain you about any product that you would like to purchase. But these are not robots that you want to hold and say, OK, I'm going to hug you. With the Nao, with our solution, and we call it Nao Zora solution, it's really a, a huggable robot that you want to take and you see the kids also taking in their arms and saying, well, I love you, so that's, that's nice. We don't have any robot at this point that has not even 1% of the intelligence of a human that would be able to replace any human whatsoever. What the robots can do is repetitive tasks. So they can do what you don't like to do, what I don't like to do. So to give you more spare times to do more important things. And that's where the robots are meant to be, not to replace humans, but to, to help humans, to assist humans. If you are entering a technological um, shop or a museum and you have a question about a very specific item, it is an impossible for a human to have everything stored of every item that is present in that place. For a robot it's different, it's all about data. So that is what the robot does. It's actually not replacing humans. He's not going to give any warm feelings to any humans. He's not even going to give any emotions. What he's going to do is provide you with simple, correct information. So a robot is not intelligent. We're not talking about artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is data that you put in the robot, that he's storing and that he's using when you are asking that specific data. But he has, he's not he does not have the ability to do some freewheeling, to decide for himself, to say what he wants, when he wants and so on. So I have control of the robot and I can ask him anything to do. One thing he's now going to do, he's going to present himself. Hello, my name is Sora. I'm a humanoid robot, imagined and programmed by Zorobots. I come with this software and I'm fully programmable. I'm autonomous, and I can connect to the internet via Wi-Fi. I can recognize your face, answer your questions, play music, grab objects, and even play soccer like a pro.
So about Zora itself, about this robot, you will always have a tablet where you are in control. So you're like in a control room where you will be able to say to the robot, okay, stand up, walk to that point, and you are going to be able through the tablet to, to actually put the robot in a certain direction. When you arrive to a, a certain point, also with your tablet, you will be able to type some sentences that you want the robot to ask. And what is happening, for instance, in, in Europe, in some hospitals, is that you have elderly people that don't really trust the doctor anymore because they feel like, mm, I get too much medicine, I don't feel well, and so on. They are going to tell some things to the robot, but not to humans. My feeling for Rwanda and for Africa in general, but mainly for Rwanda, I'm not here to sell robots. I mean, you don't, you, I don't feel that there is a need for robots here in Rwanda on a daily task. What I'm here for is to provide children the education with the software in order for them to be prepared to the revolution, 4.0 revolution that is coming. The robot we are talking about is a robot that is ideal for an educational environment in order to have children to start programming on their robot, to know how the robot must work and, and how. The next generation of robots will be the robots that people will use at home. Now we are starting already with the, the robots that are, are cleaning in the homes. But that's only a very small start. The future robots will definitely come in order to help on daily tasks, but it's not ready yet. The purpose of, of the robots coming is actually to make your life and to give you a better life and better, much more time. Not a better life that you will be able to sit in front of television and don't do anything anymore for the whole day you will spend your time to more important things, whether it is time with your family, with your kids, help them in, in anything, maybe work, uh, making possibilities for more important things. The robots will be there to do repetitive tasks and in order to help you when you come at home to prepare some things, to, to make sure that your home is clean, to make sure that your parents are not alone, that loneliness is a big issue but being able to communicate through robots to have well, daily and quality time.